Okay, you need return rituals for slow servers because some people take a lot of time. And you need physical cues to remind yourself what you gotta do. So you do it over and over again. Notice how long he's taking to serve. Killing me, man. Alright, first thing, I call this being in the bearer's box. Keep the racket close to my body. And I sway. And I do that to remind myself to keep the racket close to me. So, because if it goes far away from me, I get a huge backswing and I'll miss the return. And I sway to remind myself, remind myself to stay on my toes. This part where I bring the racket down, I remind myself to have a loose wrist. I don't grip it hardly until I make impact with the ball. That way your arm stays loose. Split. In. Go swing. Take the step forward as you toss. Bend your knees. Go swing. Get a feel for your shot. Now this is critical. You need to relax. I like to take the racket out of my playing hand and let my hand just kind of relax. And you need to just kind of chill out while you're waiting for them to go their motion for your serve. And I'm just chilling. Don't think about anything. Breathe. Relax. Totally relax. Racket in your left hand. You ever think about how long you hold the racket in your right hand? And you do it for like a three hour match? I mean that's just going to make your arm muscles tired. The classic check the strings. Physical cue and remind yourself what you're going to do with the forehand and backhand. I just tell myself forehand cross court backhand down the line. And then I drop my racket to get myself serious again. I'm in the batter's box. I'm ready to receive the pitch. Loose wrist. And here's the hugest key. Parallel to the net, knee bent, shoulder turn. Okay. I would want my student to move in and hit this slice, but I just wait for it. But I think I was just trying to use my slice and I was getting tired. Short backswing, short turn, and recover. Look at how you have to recover your next shot. A lot of people just stop and they stay there too long. Hit the ball, and as soon as you hit the ball, you have to get to that next shot. Recover. And we'll talk about movement in the next video.